So today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Fitbit Charge 3. If I touch the side of the watch here, it's going to take me to the setup screen. The first thing you want to do is get your phone, then you're going to have to download the Fitbit app. Keep in mind the Fitbit app will work on iPhone and Android. Once you have it downloaded, the first thing you have to do is open the app. Then from here you could either join Fitbit or log in. I'm going to choose join Fitbit. Then from here you could choose your Fitbit watch. So my watch is a Charge 3. From here I go to setup. Then I want to put my first name, last email and password. Once you're done it's going to take you to the setup process. But since I already have an account I'm going to sign in the other way. Once you log in you could allow the notifications or not. I'm going to pick allow. Then on the top right corner you got to choose this box right here to the options. Then you want to choose on setup device. Then from there you could just choose your Fitbit watch. Click setup. Go all the way down and choose agree. It's telling me to connect my Fitbit charge so that the watch will be charging when it's setting up. Let me connect my Fitbit charge. There it is. And once you connect it, then you want to click next. Okay, from there it's going to give you a code and then you're going to have to put the code on your cell phone. So right here it's telling me that my Fitbit Charge 3 is going to need an update. So I'm going to click on update tracker. Now I got to let it load up all the way full. As you can see it's at 5-6% right now. Now the update is finally complete. It took around a whole hour to download the update. It took a very long time, but once it's finished, it's going to take you to this screen right here and you could disconnect the Fitbit. And as you can see here, it's going to take you to the home screen. Now from here, you could uh, click on continue and it's going to tell you how to put it on your wrist. Okay. From here, it tells you where you could swipe. As you can see there, it gives you different options, workouts and all of that stuff. So now from here, let me click next. Okay, and to go back, you just press on the side button right here on the side touch button and it'll take you back. You have to make sure to press a bit firm because if you press it like this, it's not going to activate it. You have to press it firm and it'll vibrate and it'll do the function. So let me click next. And right here, you could tell you the, the notifications here. If you have any notifications, either third party or notifications from your phone, like the messages or your phone calls. And from here, if you press the side button here and you keep on pressing it for more than two seconds, it's going to take you to this screen right here. And from here, it'll change the notifications if you want it off or on. And you could change the screen wake. So if you press here, um, in order to wake up the watch, uh, you'll, you'll have to either press on the side button or the screen. If you have it off, you cannot tilt the wrist to turn on the watch. So if I just tilt it, it's not going to turn on. So in order to turn it on, just click OK and it turns it on for you. So as you can see, if I tilt the watch, it turns on the screen automatically. So from here, just click next. You go switching between apps. Um, as you can see, we got the timers, alarms, we got the weather, the settings there. You got some you got a couple of apps there. You know, click next, and here it says to watch the Fitbit every now and then. And for me, you're pretty much good to go. So if I just click on done, okay, um, location. If you want to share your location, okay, now it's telling me to pair with the Bluetooth. So I want to click on pair. And here it's telling me to um, allow the access to your location. Uh, I'm going to pick on only while using app. From here, I'm going to click OK. So if you just click on your charge tree right here, and from here, you can select your settings, your clock faces here, your silent alarms and notifications, whatever you want. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful on setting up your Fitbit Charge 3. And if it did, like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.